Hello, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, here in our festive Darth Tuba studios. With the tree is trimmed, we got a couple of items that have come in the mail that I'm really excited about, all from different sources. We have an Entertainment Earth box. We have a Walmart package. Mm. We have a Target. And we have from eBay, because I could not get it uh, in its... On its exclusive release, we have the Mandalorian Warrior Holiday Edition, which I'm going to start with that one since we already know what it is. And yes, I unbox these because I like to put them up all around my mantelpiece to help celebrate the holidays. I just last year, or two, I should say, two years ago and last year, I put all that first round of figures, Black Series holiday figures. I put them all up in underneath this tree right here, but I have decided to move them into my mantelpiece area because, I don't know, they're just kind of cool there. So this comes with what I believe is a, I have to look if it has a name for it. Uh, celebrate, the, no, just, just says, celebrate the season. No real uh, thing here, but it does come with a, cute kind of a character, which I, I'm assuming, these are all pretty much repaints, so I'm assuming this this little guy is a repaint, but you know, let me get him uh, positioned here. So we've got our Mandalorian. Oh, interesting. I'm going to just have him hold the gun because it's peace on earth, right? We don't want to have the gun be the prominent thing here, right? Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Uh, all right. Oop. There it is. Okay. So there he is with what I love, his little holiday sweater, holiday attire, ready for celebrating the holidays or collecting a bounty. And, of course, we have this little, little critter. I don't know exactly what this critter is. Leave a comment if you know the name of this. Looks like a, a sort of fox bird kind of thing. So, this will go in the man on the mantle upstairs. So that's awesome. We'll leave him here. Toss the box over there. And now let's. I got to get the Walmart one out of the way. It's Walmart, no, barely. They've sent what is barely a. It's barely a bubble wrap. It's like one step above a regular envelope. But they included Imperial Officer from Dark Times which is, I think, from Andor. And um, you know what? We're going to unbox this one as well. Um, Andor, I do appreciate the, uh, obviously, the, um, the body and legs and everything are more, more than likely um, you know, re-sculpts. I'm sorry, re sculpts Repacks. But the head, the face sculpt is new, so. And it does only come with a single weapon, so I think we can do that. I kind of like the, uh, the 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 additive that since it, since not since not really to Andor, I think it's really since Rogue One, they have added this kind of cool looking. Um, let me just get my stuff. Oh, get out of there. Okay, they've kind of added this cool like cape. Um, it's kind of like a raincoat slash cape, which I love. I think it's a it's a great additive. It it kind of makes it feel like it's still part of that original trilogy Star Wars universe, but in in fact is uh, it's got this new kind of added like world building thing. I think Krennic wore it first in the very first scene of uh, Endor. <laughs> of Rogue One. Sorry, folks. The December month is very busy for me, but now I'm not sure about this dude's face. I don't remember the guy with the stash. I have to go back. Well, I'm going to, you know, all the streaming Star Wars shows I do, I do rewatch. So I will definitely get a rewatch on that and we'll see where we can uh, track him down. All right. Next up, let's do some Target. And at the recording of this Video, even though this video will probably be released very close to Christmas, it is in fact right now 
um, December 11th at the recording of this video. So we are deep in the holiday season, and there's quite a bit. Hence my my Star my not not Star Wars. All right, I, I will get some Star Wars stuff on. It's just this shirt. Kind of, I'll get some other ep uh, ones on in my other episodes because I do have some wonderful holiday shirts that I like to share with you. Here it is, Obi Wan. Tib Tib Tibidon Station, I guess. Is that the one where he runs into and he's walking with the, the with uh, Leia and he's got the little alien one that that's like loyal to the Empire? Is that it? Or is this where he works? Yeah, I'm still learning the names. But, yeah, this is... I love the blue shirt. I absolutely love and adore the blue shirt. Got this cool backpack. I love when he was, like, negotiating with the, with the Jawa. Um, nothing in the backpack. But I am going to use... I think what I'm going to do... Oh, boy. There it is. See if I can get, um, I'm going to temporarily take the cape off just so I can, ooh, can I get the backpack on? I hope I can get the backpack on. Ooh, looks like the, hmm, I don't know, maybe not. The backpack is, I, I want to say it's, might be permanently welded, not welded, you know what I mean? Like permanently attached. I don't know if I can get it on. So what I'll do is I'll do it with one Come on, Obi-Wan. I'll have to go school style. Where he's meaning he's got the got the one backpack sling, you know, he doesn't do it on both. This is this is gonna be a tough one because he's got his lightsaber and he's got his blaster. And he does not appear to Oh, oh, he does have a holster, so that's good. So let me get his let me get him all set up in his holster. Again, a lot of people have been talking about Andor, uh, about how it's like the greatest Star Wars in the Disney era. My uh, my take on that is I liked it. I loved it. But I liked other things too. And I just feel that one doesn't one can simply like something and not feel like it has to be the greatest thing ever. Um, I think it was awesome. It was great storytelling. Um, a lot of people are talking about you know, when I think about Obi-Wan, though, I think that pushed different buttons for me. Obi-Wan pushed the buttons of being, you know, just an amazing prequel story. And I'm okay with that. There it is, there it is. You can see his face. And, you know, and I think Disney recognizes that. I think that's one of the reasons why they brought a Hayden Christensen back. They recognize that a lot of their fans are prequel fans. You know, Ewan McGregor and, and, um, you, whoops, oh, the Imperial, come back, come back. I'll kind of lay him over here. I was, um, I was impressed with it. I thought it was very, very great story. Did I, did I, you know, someone? We didn't need that story. I said we don't need any Star Wars story. Why? Are, what, what kind of, what kind of reason is that? You know, and people, well, we don't need to hear. You know, they don't have to map out every single day. Oh, folks, don't watch it. As someone who loves Star Wars content and who's thrilled to be living in a world where more and more Star Wars content is coming out, I am all for it. Disney, if you're listening, if you're watching this show, more Star Wars content, please. Thank you. Good content, yes, but more. I enjoyed Andor. I enjoyed Obi-Wan. I enjoyed Mandalorian Seasons 1 and 2, and I enjoyed Boba Fett. Hmm. Ooh. Hang on a second. <gasps> Did they... Did they? No. <laughs> okay. They. I thought they finally decided to pack more than one, but they didn't. But that's okay because we have this kind of a repack of VC-172 um, ARC Trooper 5s. I want to take a look. I, I can't remember... If I actually got fives. Now, 172, we're into the 250s and beyond now. So for me to get a, a 172, um, it either means that they redid it and I'm just getting a second version of it. Or we maybe with a better head sculpt or just a cleaner image. Or they, 
you know, never or, you know, I never ordered it right away and it came up on back order or what have you. So if there is another one, you will see at about this point, you will see a side by side comparison of the two. But this is this guy right now by himself. Okay. So there you go. So um, it's, again, VC 172. Again, I keep these packaged because I do enjoy the uh, vintage carded look. Uh, I love the character of Fies. I love that they use this. If you look at the drawing, they're definitely using the Tim Morrison imagery, although the character of Fies was more featured in the um, Clone Wars series. And particularly, there was a, there was, and it was kind of a recurring character. And uh, he has an interesting story arc. So, you know, anybody who's never watched the Clone Wars, watch the episodes with Fives. The first couple or first few or whatever, I can't remember if it's one or if it's a handful. But they're, they're okay. They just kind of establish him as a character. But towards the end, I think it was like season six or seven, that's when they really went to town with this character. So, check it out. And... Um, leave a comment if you want to talk about it so thank you so much for watching guys that's that'll do it for this episode again lots of great holiday uh goodness coming coming your way be sure to like subscribe hit the notification button do check out all that stuff on all my you know my social media platforms instagram twitter and the facebook page star wars unboxing group on facebook and we're part of the red five network so check out all the red five material and until next time may the force and the toys be with you Thank you.